Hello, this is Lego Guy 832. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a short review on my Lego custom Spitfire. Um, it's not all my custom design. Most of it's based off um this other guy's design, but I added a whole bunch to it and changed some things. So yeah. So here's the Spitfire. Because it's a mini design, it doesn't have that many features, but it just looks, it looks exactly like, a, pretty much, almost exactly like a real one. Because I was basing it off a real one on the internet. The gray and black one. So yeah, here's the bottom. This is its landing gear. It's folded up right now. Oops. So yeah. Um, then there's little British symbols on the wings. Then put a symbol on the side, and then this little fans symbol or something like that. Then for some reason it said JR, so I just did that too. Um, this spins really well. You can blow on it. You can blow on it like a little pinwheel. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah. And then I just made this really quick stand, taking a see-through piece, um, like this, stack it in here, so yeah, and then, so it just fits on right, just like this, um, yeah, so the, and then I just made this little stand, give some information. The Supermarine Spitfire was probably the best known of the British fighters, along with the Hawker Hurricane, it allowed RAF to, RAF or RAF, I don't know, to win the Battle of Britain. The RAF flew Spitfires in the Western Desert and the PNG. So yeah, and then I just, the Spitfire and this stand all it is is really a slanty piece uh, tripod got messed up all it is is a slanty piece holding up this like that okay and the last thing I'm going to show you is um the Spitfire with the landing gear up like it's ready to land yeah. It looks like this. I think it looks pretty good with the landing gear. So yeah, um, rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.